What If Daniel Bryan never got injured in 2014 and 2015. Yo 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 and this is Mike Rato and welcome to a new episode of our What If series. And for today, our topic is Daniel Bryan. Well, considering his push in 2014, well when he won the championship, suddenly his neck issues actually stop this push because he needs to heal and in 2015 while he got some issues on his brain i think it's mostly concussions that's why he was never given a chance to have a run with the ic title i mean a long title run long lengthy title run so here we go with this alternate timeline timeline will start in 2014 when he won the championship the thing is he's gonna retain his title against Kane just like in real life and here comes the authority they will have a lot of challengers for Daniel Bryan such as well Randy Orton again will challenge him after the feud with Evolution and even fighting also with the guys with Roman Reigns John Cena just to fill up his feud till SummerSlam well at SummerSlam just like in real life WWE wants to push Brock Lesnar well because he defeated The Undertaker at WrestleMania and this is the beast that you are actually building upon and his momentum needs a championship for to establish himself to be a top guy in the company so Daniel Bryan will drop the title to Brock and Brock reigns with the WWE title and as for Daniel Bryan he will get a rematch at Night of Champions which Seth Rollins will interfere and cause Bryan the match. The thing here is Daniel Bryan being present WWE will decide to give him the Royal Rumble victory at the 2015 event and that means Roman Reigns Royal Rumble while the time that the audience turned on him will not happen because their guy won the rumble and that means roman reigns should not at least be the top three of the last people in the royal rumble let's just say that the final three are two heels and then daniel bryan because if you put roman reigns on those sp spots that means that the audience will somehow turn on him while let's just say he's gonna be top four or something like that and as for Daniel Bryan, well, he's gonna be pushed for WrestleMania 31 for his eventual rematch, which somehow, some way, Roman Reigns will be inserted in that match, and it will be a triple threat match, because that's the WWE's guy. And for this moment, the audience will support Daniel Bryan, the underdog of that match. So that means two years of having two triple threat main events at WrestleMania and yeah they will decide also to give the title to Bryan before Seth Rollins will either cash in at WrestleMania just like in real life he will interrupt the match and make it a fatal four-way or the next night which Rollins will get all the heat or just after the match when Bryan was celebrating Rollins will cash in and gain the most ultimate heel, heat of all time. And as a result, Daniel Bryan will get his rematch at Extreme Rules. That means he isn't injured here or anything like that. And that means, well, when he got his rematch, it's gonna be a classic because, well, it's gonna be a good match within the two because they can produce both with great matches that means it's gonna be a classic and when that match happens Rollins will attain because WWE will keep on building set Rollins and then after that Rollins will have feuds with a lot of guys that he actually interacted with Wrestlemania guys such as Roman Reigns Randy Orton set Daniel Bryan and even Brock Lesnar so that's gonna keep Seth Rollins company 
for the next few months and then yeah also Dean Ambrose will be also part of the championship chase scene which Rollins will play the cowardly heel though he's gonna be more established because there's a lot more of guys who will challenge him for the title what happens next Seth Rollins gets injured in this timeline also and then Roman Reigns wins the title this is the time that they're gonna try to build their guy with Roman Reigns now being start to get into the main event scene and when he get to the main event scene well Roman Reigns I'm not sure if the crowd will actually result to cheer or to boo because well you just give the ultimate heat to Seth Rollins and to Roman Reigns well I'm not sure if making the match triple threat at Mania will feed all the hate to him or all the hate to Brock Lesnar so yeah when the Roman Reigns push started well Daniel Bryan will be put on either the Intercontinental Championship scene or as well feud again with the authority but it's better to put him in the intercontinental scene just to elevate the title when you're elevating a title with a top star and then putting a lot of open challenges just like what John Cena did while well, Daniel Bryan will do the same thing just for the IC title which he will get a lot of matches and yeah he will drop the title to kevin owens before the year ends or in the start of 2016 and then owens will drop the title to ambrose and then he will regain it and then yeah daniel bryan will be involved in the ladder match which daniel bryan will somehow in this timeline i'm not sure if there's a ladder match at wrestlemania 22 or 32 or there's not but let's just say, oh, there is. And yeah, Zack Ryder will win that match. Which, after that, Miz will win the title the next night. And then the two will reignite their rivalry with Daniel Bryan while helping the Miz also here to have the title more prestige, like having them a lot of matches between each other. That means that the 2018 feud will happen here in 2016 for the IC title and the two will elevate it and then just like in real life, the Miz will elevate the title and unlike in real life, well, there is no something like no pressure for him and he's not that much, just like in real life, he is always on television but this time he will cut the promos much earlier he will create this promos to build the IC title to its relevancy and when I say relevancy well the title will be included in the main event scene somehow like that so Daniel Bryan in the Miz feud ends and then Daniel Bryan will just go and try to challenge for the WWE Championship again, which he will fail. Well, because during this year, AJ Styles is now the champion. And they will have a feud after Ambrose and Styles feud. And when that happens, Daniel Bryan will just lose to AJ Styles to get AJ Styles have more heel heat. Before, just like in real life, AJ Styles will drop the title to Cena. And like one of my what ifs, Goldberg and Brock Lesnar, the Universal Championship match will not happen here. Instead, it's just a regular one on one match. Kevin Owens and Chris Jericho will have their feud with Jericho while winning the title. And then, either two months after winning the title or the next month, well, Daniel Bryan will have a match for it, which he will win the Universal title just to have a little bit of a dream something for the Universal title instead of being 
not televised for a month. Well, let's just say that the universal title also here is showing to television. Which, yes, Daniel Bryan will have a huge run with it before dropping the title to either Samoa Joe, whose WWE is building in 2017, Braun Strowman, or Roman Reigns, whichever the three will just defeat him for the championship. And then, yes, he will now, from starting to lose the Universal title, he will just go and then just stay on Monday Night Raw before being drafted to SmackDown just to help Shane with their rivalry with Sammy and KO which will start in 2017 after Daniel Bryan lost the Universal Championship while well, Daniel Bryan will start also to be drafted on SmackDown in some sorts because WWE loves the draft and then when he is on SmackDown, he's gonna fight Sammy, Sammy and Kevin Owens in 1-1 one -one matches. They will build the feud. And then the feud will happen at WrestleMania. It will end there. And then the same storyline goes for Daniel Bryan to be the planet's champion. Returning at Yes Movement and everything towards the Fiend, etc. and etc. So did you like this what if? I hope you do. Like, comment down, share, subscribe for more videos. And again, this is Mike Rato. And this what if only covers the 2017, 2014 up to 2018 run of Daniel Bryan. And nothing more, nothing less. So thank you and have a good day. Peace.